Ladies and gentlemen, happy St. Patty's Day on YouTube. My name is Clearsight, nice to meet you, top of the morning. Anyways, <laughs> everyone said I always do a pretty a pretty good Irish accent. So I like to think that my Irish accent is pretty good. Unfortunately, I'm not wearing any green, so you have to give me a virtual YouTube pinch. Or I'll just have Jamie do it later. Anyways, <laughs> alright guys, it is Ask a Blind Guy time. The... the... Show on YouTube that you can ask all questions and figure out all things about a blind person's perspective. So this is going to be fun. We're covering something that I personally am a big fan of. Colors. Oh yeah. Colors are everywhere, ladies and gentlemen. And people wonder, how do blind people see them? Well, we don't. Well, it depends, actually. I guess the, the thing would be, it's, it depends. If you can't see at all, then uh, you're pretty much screwed on colors. People do it different ways, though. They'll, they'll associate colors with nature, or they'll associate colors with uh, ideas or words, even. Um, but, of course, it's completely useless, because, you know, if you're completely blind, you'll never know what colors are. That's just all there is to it. Uh, and th you just can never understand colors. It's like trying to tell a deaf person what, uh, um, what a guitar sounds like. You know what I mean? You just can't do it, you know? Uh, so basically, but I can see colors because, you know, I have a little bit of usable sight and included with that comes with the wonderful colored package. You know, there's many packages you can purchase when you become blind. The fully blind package comes submerged with absolute darkness. Nothing at all comes into those eyes. Then you got the light and shapes package. No, I'm just kidding. Anyways, I do have the colored package. I pay $14.99 a month for it. It's very expensive, but I love it. Just kidding. <laughs> Okay, so I, not joking around. I do see colors, and um, but I I do have a little concern with my colors may not look exactly the same as what you see colors are, and the main reason I think that is because I don't have any pupils. Uh, that might sound really weird, so I don't actually take in light the same way. So the best example of this is when there's an ultraviolet light. We have an ultraviolet light that traps bugs. Uh, so when there's an ultraviolet light on, it affects regular people with pupils differently because you cannot see the full spectrum of ultraviolet. Um, but because I don't have pupils, I can see more of ultraviolet light, basically, um, as far as I can tell, because the ultraviolet lights are brighter to me than they are to anyone else. They're, they're super bright to my eyes. So since I don't have pupils, I can perceive colors a little bit differently. It also shows up with street lights. Like some people think street lights look white, but to me, I think they kind of look blue. Um, so therefore I can see more of the ultraviolet light that's inside of the light bulbs. Uh, if that makes any sense at all. Uh, I don't know how to explain it any better than that, but that's about the best way I could explain it. For the most part, I see the same colors as you do, but there can be some variations with light and color and stuff like that. So I hope that answers this question. We'll be back tomorrow with another question. And the next question is actually pretty cool. I think you're going to like it. Um, it would involve a little bit more computer work. And we're also going to cover bank ATMs. Why do they have braille on those crazy things? Well, you're going to find out tomorrow. So make sure you come back. Look for an upload from me tomorrow. Any time of the day, I really need to find a better schedule for these, though, instead of just whenever the heck I feel like getting up off my lazy butt and posting a video. Um, at one point in time in the future, we'll have a schedule. I will always expect a video at 12 o'clock in the afternoon, but right now I just can't guarantee it, so I'm not even going to try. So just sometime tomorrow. The best way to get notified when I, when I post a new video is to click the little bell icon in my profile uh, on a smartphone, and you will get notified, actually, every time I make a new video and post it on here. So that's that. I hope you guys have a fantastic St. Patty's Day. Make sure you drive safely and don't act like an idiot. By that, I mean, don't get so drunk you don't even know what hand is your left hand. Anyways, <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, this is Billy Brandon reminding you until next time, stay clear-sighted, my friends. High five!